Hello and welcome to my Steam app presentation. The main purpose of this application is to sell video games in a e common e-commerce format. They have other features, but uh, they are minor, and they also sell physical products as well. The two key features when using the app for purchasing games is the search bar and checkout. The search bar has immediate suggestions when you uh, input just a couple letters, and it, it would even provide prices. Uh, meanwhile, on uh, any product page, there will actually be a additional feature uh, of suggestions, this brown uh, module on the right here. Uh, but this only appears when you're logged in and then and the app knows what to suggest. The layouts, uh, on the main store page, there isn't a any recognizable uh, repetitions or uh, layout patterns. The only thing that I've identified is that special offers and features are shown in a carousel style. As for color and design, any text that is in full caps and is white, it usually means that it's a category. Any text that is white means that it is a title. Any blue, uh, be it text or button, means that it is interactable. Gray equals body, and green is, is, is discount. The icons they use are very intuitive and they're almost universal. Uh, the only thing that I didn't find intuitive was this flag button, which means report. To navigate this app, the users will mainly use scroll and tap. Uh, the, there is a horizontal scroll for carousels. And, but lastly, there is this uh, less known feature where you could swipe to open up the hamburger menu. However, you need to swipe from of the very very edge of the screen, which is uh, so so is very very sensitive and hard to use. And I've identified the users, intended users, to be gamers that are 12 years and up. My first researched user is Alex Tang, who is 21 years old and a friend of mine. He has used the app to five to six years, and he's decently experienced. For my first scenario, browsing, he is attracted to cover images. Uh, of games on the store page and when he has chosen a game he will read the description and the spec requirements uh, for scenario two of how he reviews his purchase he likes to uh, occasionally look at his library of games on his phone uh, to jog his memory of what he has and he will also uh, view the stats which is a function that steam provides which gives you uh, time given and other uh, stats such as achievements and whatnot. The frustrations he has is the community features are unnecessary and it uh, clutters the menu and he never uses, the, uses them in the first place. Uh, he appreciates how the store is able to uh, figure out what games that you prefer and uh, give provide suggestions. This is the user flow based on Alex's experience. The only identified issue is uh, at the first red diamond of how you have the option to either press the hamburger menu or to swipe. And this relates back to the previous point of how the swipe is uh, very sensitive and hard to use. This was discovered because of Alex. For our second user, we have Richard Lay. He's 21 years old and a friend. He is uh, uh, he's experienced the app for seven years, and for scenario one, he actually never browses, but instead, he likes to follow specific developers and games for updates and whatnot. For scenario two, he also only uh, follow updates, but on his uh, library page, uh, because games update uh, even after you've purchased them. For frustrations, he dislikes the excessive profile features, as shown on the right, uh, and finds it unnecessary and he appreciates the stats given uh, by the library. As for his user flow, it actually kind of comes down to the same exact uh, hamburger menu. But a notable issue was actually that while we were uh, interviewing and use, uh, just user testing, when he tried to go from the library back to, uh, to enter a game, there was actually a critical server failure, which is interesting and he couldn't use the app for uh, the duration of the time when the servers were down. In summary, the users 
uh, varies greatly from window shopping to uh, being very, very specific with how they uh, uh, choose their games. Uh, and uh, from my research, I discovered that the second most common use of the app is to review one's own stats. Thank you for listening.